We'll do a little bit more, actually. I know, I know. Too much coffee? Yikes. Adventurous thing to say in Twitch chat. I apologize. Um, Hydroponic garden. This is where we get the algae. 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 And we put rotating stairs around it again. I live on coffee? No, I don't really drink that much coffee. Although I do really like coffee, though. Okay. That should do the trick. I usually drink about two cups of coffee a day. There's a lot of Dutch people that drink coffee uh, for dessert, like every day. Yeah, there's a lot of people that will drink coffee after dinner. Very common. I can't sleep. If I do. I I usually stop caffeine at 2 p.m. Basically the start of my stream. That's the moment I stop caffeine. Okay. I do get headaches when I don't drink coffee. That is true, yes. So every once in a while I do drink a whole lot less coffee. But, um, I don't know. Let's go on psychotic. I didn't break anything. No. I am building some algae, or I'm growing some algae. Eggplant rations and corn rations. I have corn over here. Do I just not have it stored anywhere? Is that my problem with corn? That's a funny problem to have. I think I literally just need to store it. Uh... Corn. I also don't have storage for algae now that I think about it, yeah. Good point. Algae. Which one's the algae? Do we not store algae over here? Am I blind? Did I just literally hover over? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. We'll put a roof over on the one on the left. I think I'll do a... Um, rooftop terrace for the one right over here on the right. Then we continue this a little bit further. I don't really want to block my tribute. So there is this thing called a food... Whatever. Um... Not sure what it's called. There's like a food manufacturing thing or whatever? Um, a food factory? Yeah. It requires electricity though, which is kind of a pain. Processes ingredients into food rations. Um, I don't really have room for it, man. I built all these beautiful pyramids, but they did take up a little bit of space, you know? Which seems like a problem now. 
Yeah, food factory doesn't increase happiness, though. I guess it just increases the amount of food I have. Which doesn't seem very useful. There is a food rations category? Oh! Oh, that's what it is. Ah, okay. So I need three of those factories. Gotcha. Um, okay. You wanna leave, buddy? That's okay. Go ahead. Though he's like, I need to leave right now! Leave me out, leave me out! I asked you once, and you still didn't respond! Jeez, calm down, Toby. Calm down, buddy. What's going on, Toby? Hello. Hey, yo, loco, underscore. Underscore? Appreciate ya. Okay, so we have these things called food factories. Gonna have to plant down three of them. And then also an engine. I think this is the perfect spot for it. Couple more dynamites, please. Yeah, almost three years, man. Thank you very much, El Toby. Long-term supporter. Imagine being subbed to my channel for three years, Chad. Ay, ay, ay. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Food rations? Uh, am I dumb? Oh, yeah, pretty dumb. Pretty stupid. These are big structures, man. I need to put up some storage over here. And I need to also make sure that I have my um, power coming in. So I want to do the power from the top. That's what I'm thinking of anyways. So we do power like so. Now we put up our generators here. So these things take 120 horsepower each. I actually think I'm going to move these. 120 horsepower each. So, these things generate, I just need one. Enough. There we go. Bit of an engine. There's an output over here. And then we need to do a little bit of a wood storage here somewhere too. So we need to do wood storage and then the different rations. I'm assuming the rations are stored in medium warehouses or warehouses in general. So I would like to put down three of them, meaning that I have to do a little bit of a... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. This one gets to do corn rations. And this one gets to store corn rations. This one gets to do algae rations. This one gets to store algae rations. I don't currently grow eggplant rations yet, or any eggplant. So that's one thing I need to do. Happy to catch another live stream. Yo, what's up, man? 56 months already, aiming for the five years mark. It's been a while since I saw you streaming. What games are you playing now? What's going on, Fire DZ? Um, I play a little bit of everything, as per usual, but currently I am playing this, as well as RimWorld. As well as a difficult game about climbing, apparently. Didn't really plan for that last one, if I'm being honest with you, but... 
sometimes those things happen. Although I don't recommend that last thing for you to happen. Because a difficult game about climbing is uh, quite difficult. <laughs> it had it in the name, I guess. Wood. I was gonna say planks, but no. Okay. I need to put up some roofs. Drought is approaching. No, I'm actually, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up this game today. Because we've been, uh... Yeah, I've been in the, in the process of finishing this one for a little bit. happiness not bad very good uh, the roofs do give you like a, a positive bonus yeah but mostly I add them for decoration though. If they didn't add anything, I would still add them, Newt. I think I'm gonna replace this section over here with... Yeah, with... Um... Eggplants instead. Everybody loves eggplants, right? At least the eggplant emoji is always a popular one. Yeah. Oh, you guys pulled up the eggplant emoji real quick. Is that in your commonly used emoji list, guys? I'm just asking. And silently judging. Can I explain why? People just really love vegetables. Veganism is very popular. Can I explain why? I mean, I think it's just something people like to do. What are your most commonly used emojis? If you like if you're watching this on your phone or on mobile, I guess if you go to your emojis Which one is the most frequently used one? It's the duck the smiley one kapow Lol. It only shows you recent. Ah, uh, okay, okay. A dancing cow? Literally never seen you use that blue hair. Literally, dude. Literally. We gotta store our eggplant somewhere. Where do you usually store your egg? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, chat. I'm actually out of gears. Imagine that. I guess I'll add a couple more then, huh? Okay. 
No, I know Blue Hair would never watch anybody else's stream other than mine. No, 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 no. I, I don't believe that. He wouldn't just use frequently used emotes, but ones that he's never posted. No, 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 no. I think it was just a miscommunication here. I get it, I get it. Mm, 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 mm. Straight ban, right away. Gavilan does not like half measures. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Grab something to eat as well. Do you think I can just let it run? Do you think I can... I'm just gonna let it run. This seems like a bad idea. There's a drought right now, but they don't need my help. I think we're good. Did I die? Did I lose everything? Huh. I did not. That's amazing. I, um, I tried petting my cats, but apparently they did not appreciate it. They were both hard at work. Are you kidding me right now? This, this does not... Like, my... How am I gonna fix this? Uh, 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 uh... Hmm, I am running out of lumber. I can fix this with grenades and dynamite. Yo! Loco, you can't lose everything. You will always have the pogos. Pogo, 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 pogo. Thank you, man. That is very kind of you. Sometimes all I need is the motivational support of the pogo. That's truly all I ever need. 85 months and Loco still hasn't grown a beard. Skill issue NGL. Absolutely a skill issue, dude. I mean, it's been a couple days now, I think. Like two. Yeah. Quite, quite the beard, honestly, Omega Odin. Thank you for the 85 months. I don't think anybody has grown a finer beard on this chat than me. Let's keep the pogo going. Pogo, 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 pogo. Thank you, dude. I also love pogo. Three hundred dollar or three hundred bits rotter at a time. That's how much I love pogos. Love him. Huge fan. That was a sick beat. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I'm running out of lumber, guys. I have no lumber. I'm all out. Where is it even all going? Is there an overview screen of where my lumber is going? Yeah. I have a lot of engines, and they are soaking up a lot of it. Engines take lumber, yeah, straight up.
There is a massive amount of lumber right over here. Hmm. Okay. We need to make another district, guys. Carving it straight through here. We're gonna make another district. Are those Tim Tams? I don't know what Tim Tams are. What's going on, Shadarki? It is Pi Day, yeah. Gotta get done on Pi Day. It's Pi Day if you're in the US though. In the rest of the world, it is the 14th of the 3rd. So I don't I don't really know exactly how that works out, but To be fair though. There's the US and then there's countries that don't matter, right? So like Don't really see what the issue is. Imagine using month, date, year. I can't believe this. Hello? Did you just do American slander? We can do year, month, day, I guess. That's acceptable. Yeah, 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 that's okay. We can you we we can do that. Year month day is the only way to do it. Every day is pie day for you. Are you eating the crust yet though, Grimdy? Are you you're not eating the crust, are you? <laughs> I knew it! Yeah, yeah. Year month day is definitely the best way to do it if you like sorting files efficiently. The drought has ended. Rejoice. Gamers around the world. Get your fireworks out. I doubt the drought. I never even felt it. Are you a drought denier? Is that what you're saying right now? I don't know how this is going to work though, if there's like a lot of... I don't know, the bad water? I think the bad water actually does moisturize the area. I think. I actually don't know. This seems like an important bit of information, but it's okay. It doesn't happen that often. Um, I do want to build a bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we need the four-sized bridge. Whichever one is the bridge that says four by one or whatever. Is it on the decoration? Where is it? Oh, it's on the paths, obviously. Yeah. Okay. I have to put a forester up here. And I'm also a lumberjack camp. And you guys can go ahead and plant a load of trees here. Oh, all right. Plant as many as you can, and we'll have to cut down the rest of them. Same for these over here. These also need to be cut. Screw you, Mother Nature. Screw you! Yeah, I haven't yet played the game. I heard it's pretty fun, uh, Grimmy. Are you stalking me on Steam right now? Is that what you're doing? Whoa. Whoa, hold up right now. Buddy. 
Are you stalking my Steam library? Yikes. You're stalking everybody? Is that what you're saying right now? That's a yikers. Oh, you're not just stalking me. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That makes me feel much better. He's not just stalking me, he stalks everybody. Okay, okay. Phew, glad to hear it. I'm starting to get concerned. Hey, flying lurker, man. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. If I could see a Utrana hearts in the chat for the flying lurker. Who's kind of like a brute war queen. Lurkers used to be able to fly back before the brute wars. Oh, my entire city has fallen apart because I don't have any lumber. That seems a problem. Need more lumber. More lumber is required. But I'm growing eggplants now. So... Can't win all of them, Chet. But you can win some. Yo! An additional 10 subs? Does that mean we make the sub goal? <gasps> Five more? No, six more? Five more? Four? Three? Two? One. I want to thank y'all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to smile. And I hope to see you once again later. Bye. I'm just kidding. We have a beaver city to build. Yeah, I know. We have a beaver city to build. Thank you very much, Flying. You've never been this sad. Really? Man. That uh, is pretty sad. You do make it sound very sad. Uh, we pause this one, I guess. Same for this one. That one does not need to be here. You guys get to move to lumber. Climbing game when? We, we will play the climbing game, yeah. Patience, young one. Patience. The thing about the climbing game is that that is like a end of the stream kind of game. You know what I mean? Like, you can't play the climbing game when you can start the anger starting to feel... You can't do it. Plus, I'm already very sleepy because I was up at 3.30, which is a bad time to be up. Don't recommend it. Someone was gifting five subs every time they fell. Ooh. No, 3.30 a.m., Shardarki. I had to drop Loran off at the airport. Her flight wasn't originally supposed to be that early, but they moved it forward. Isn't that wild? I don't think I've ever had a flight moved forward. Well, I had to drive for a while and I did kind of sleep again, but it's like the uh, zombie sleep, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It's like, yeah, technically you're sleeping, but realistically... So, I think in total I probably must have slept like seven hours or something, but it was seven hours... It was like like four hours and then like like another two and a half or so. It was a bit messy. And in general, I am very much so somebody who uh, needs needs his beauty sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep quite a bit usually. Try a layover in an airport in South Korea for a day? Ooh, I prefer not actually. Thank you for the suggestion though, Ed. 
<laughs> I, uh... I appreciate the thought, but... If I have any say in the matter, I'd prefer not to. <laughs> uh, this game is definitely different than RimWorld. Still a lot of fun, though. I don't have enough lumber, guys. It's a real issue. <laughs> it was worth the try. Yeah, yeah, I do. I understand. I like the suggestion, man. Keep them coming. We have no haulers. Whoa, I had loads of my robots die. Holy crap, dude. Loads of robots actually just died. I had so many. I think I'm gonna enable a few of my breeding pods again. Imagine dying as a robot. No. I think I'm gonna put some humans in the hauling post. Yeah, humans may be our dedicated haulers. Humans may be more reliable, honestly. Yeah, if they break down, they are gone. You don't seem to get any resources back either. Imagine humans. Yeah, imagine that. Have you guys ever met humans? I shook one's head, one's hand once. It was, it was terrifying. Yeah, I'm more of a beaver guy, personally. You prefer not to? I get it, I get it. Are you guys beaver shaming me right now? Is that what you're doing? Be very serious with me for a second here, chat. Are you... I don't have enough beavers. Holy crap. I can't believe I had everybody die. Oh, my beavers have no working hours. Yo, you guys are not doing shit. 16 hour work days are back, baby. Holiday's over. Wake up. 38 happiness. Uh, sounds difficult, man. Oh, my mud bath isn't working because I don't have electricity. Dude, I get some very, very... Annoying beavers as well. They get eight hours of rest a day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. That's a lot of rest. What do they do with the rest of their time? Sit around? Play video games all day? Pathetic. I recently met a guy who played video games as an adult. Like, fucking cringe, dude. Horrible. What's up, Andy? You play video games as an adult, Grimdy? I said adult. Wait. I'm, I'm confused right now. You don't play video games, you pay Loco to play them for you? Oh! You have a video game guy? You have a guy for video games and that guy is me? I never really thought about streaming that way. Much like having like an electrician and like maybe a plumber. You have a guy. To play the games for you. Hmm. Hmm, smart. Yeah, you're outsourcing games. 
Like, you could think- you could fix your own kitchen sink, you know, but it'd be frustrating. Much like many of the games. Like, a lot of games that I play are very frustrating to play. Why would you do it yourself? Just outsource it. Hmm... Yeah, I'll do the fun for you, so you don't have to. <laughs> that's that's some, some smart stuff right there. Very clever. I like it. Okay. Thirty-five robot beavers are necessary in this place. <laughs> okay, stuff is running again, which is good. Yo, faceless mirror! Appreciate you. Boys only should uh, Andy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Me and the boys hanging together. Well, I'm just sitting around playing video games and painting Warhammer miniatures, you know? My cats are actually hard at work. They're like, you know, spying on the neighbors. Making my socks go missing. Hide Laurent's hair clips, that sort of thing. They're very busy. Hey, thank you very much, Nuzzy Futs. Appreciate it. Did my YouTube video go live, by the way? I didn't even see Gabe spam a link. Yes. Dude, my favorite part about this entire video, other than the fact that it's an amazing game, right? Is that Serral in this particular replay is playing under a barcode nickname. So this is a ladder game in StarCraft 2 between Clem and Serral. Serral at 7.1k MMR, smurfing as a barcode? So to clarify, when you queue up in Grandmaster League, you can see your opponent's MMR on the loading screen. Like, there is... There is only one player at 7.1k MMR at the moment. What, what's... I don't understand the point of the Barca. Like, you're not hiding anything. <laughs> Why am I Sarah playing under a barcode? It's almost a joke, you know? It's almost tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, look at all these other losers with their barcodes. <laughs> you know who I am. I need this. A scratch pop. A scratch pad pro? <laughs> this is so bad. 10 out of 10 Photoshop for an Amazon product. I like I like the other cats that are in the in the call right now. Oh, this is part of the product. Thirty dollars? Thirty dollars for a piece of cardboard. Now look, I've been spending more than that on plastic. On the Warhammer figures, okay? But... Thirty dollars for cardboard goes a bit far. Thirty dollars for pieces of plastic, however? <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, exactly. I don't think I want to train my cat to be scratching my laptop anyways. No. There's a video. The Scratchpad Pro. <laughs> so you don't get interrupted? No, bro, you're basically training your cat that they should use the thing. Very fun product, though. $30 for a piece of cardboard really does seem a bit much. Hey, 
Hey, we have exactly 100 regular bots and 25 regular beavers. No, actually, we have 31. Never mind. Hey, nice. Very good, Peter. Wait, so how have you been... Have you not been playing any games? Because your motherboard broke a while ago, right? Like, you sent it off a bit ago. Have you just not been able to play anything? You've been using your old PC? Ah, okay, okay. I had a wood issue for a little bit, Malin. I did legs at the gym today, guys. Am I insane? What sane person would just go to the gym and do lower body? Like, for all intents and purposes, with what I do for a living, I may as well not have a lower body. Do you guys think I have a lower body? Probably not. You walked 20 kilometers a day at work? Jeez. It's a lot of walking. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally just a torso. A torso with a head. Two floppy arms. I was watching a video the other day from um, a guy on YouTube called Optimum Tech or something. Yeah. Like he's been he's been building these mini computers, which I really love the look of. So this is a two thousand dollar, a two thousand dollar PC that is that tidy. It's got like some proper hardware and everything too, man. These I've never had one of these mini cases before, but I really love the look of them. Yeah, these are sweet, man. Yeah, I can imagine it's a pain for some stuff, for sure. Because obviously you're not going to have as many connectors, and in general you're going to have to be very precise and specific with the hardware that you end up buying. But the fact that you can actually have a high-end computer like this, in a very small form factor, is kind of awesome. I think that's really cool. Still enough space for the cat, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my computer is massive in comparison to that. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much for a desktop, I suppose, but it's still cool that it's possible, you know? Do people still have full tower PCs? Is that still common? Like, full tower was like, you know, the very large ones. I guess most people have mid-towers? Or whatever they're called. I don't really know what the most popular type of uh, PC case is anymore. You've had a full tower for a while, or replaced it with a normal one two years ago? Okay. Yeah, full-size PC towers are big, right? Uh, the red water is from a, uh, a new game mechanic called Bad Water, but at this point in my playthrough I've well managed it. You only use big towers at work. At home, you use a meaty tower. Yeah. I kind of like that they actually have uh, started making some towers that don't have, like, you know, they, that actually look kind of cool, that are actually kind of stylish. I'm kind of over the mass LED type of thing, you know? Not, I'm not really big into my colorful LEDs anymore. No, I, I, I think I'm over it for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, they have like wood panel ones and stuff now. Yeah, I do like the look of them quite a bit. You love having your PC lit with blue LEDs at night? Nothing quite like it, huh? I have a fractal case right now, actually. Fractal design. What do they, um, what have they been making? Oh, here, here's a bat tide approaching. Somebody was just asking. 
Oh yeah, they make PC cases now with wood on the front. Yeah, see, I kind of like this. I know this is not for everybody. I understand that not everybody likes something, you know, that looks like this. But I, I think it looks... Yeah, I like it. I think I would get something like this if I had to buy a new computer. Like, yeah, I'm kind of over this type of style. Even though it looks kind of nice. This is also not bad, though, dude. Although it's kind of small. Don't know if it would fit. That's what she said. No, I think... I think... Uh Yeah, these are kind of nice. Is it actual wood, though? Are we using actual wood for this sort of thing? Enhance the look of your gaming system with a sleek wood... N are we not saying what sort of wood it is? <laughs> are, okay, um... It probably says it somewhere. Yeah, I have a fractal case right now. I, I haven't ever had one before this, but... It's just wood, guys. No price tag either. I mean, I'm just saying it could be plastic that, you know, looks like wood. <laughs> that would be kind of lame. But it could be, you never know. It says walnut? Okay. Hey, we actually have 12,000 points. That's amazing, because that means I can get the tribute to Ingenuity. By far the most expensive structure in the entire game. All right, let's build it. This is gonna give him another massive buff. Look how long the range of that is. Jeez. You're rolling with a Fractal R4? Yeah, that was the classic one, right? I like that one a lot. I built a computer in that case at some point. Long, long time ago. Must have been like 20... I don't know. 2014, probably. Dang, that is a while ago. That's my ex-girlfriend's computer. <laughs> That's a while ago. Um, I don't think I really need this thing on anymore. Nah, remove it. It says reclaimed wood. All right. Cases can last through many builds. Yeah. Usually, though, what I've done is, rather than, like, replacing a lot of parts, I usually don't sell for parts, but sell the entire computer. So, like, yeah, you can reuse a case. You can reuse a power supply unit and a bunch of stuff, but, like, what do you do with the components? Do you sell the parts? I guess you can just sell the parts, but it's a bit more of a hassle. Keep a museum? Ah, all right. You upgraded your PC two years ago and the random remainders are still in your living room in the, oh, I should deal with this pile? Right, right, yeah. I get what you mean. Okay, the bat tide is here. Okay, how is my tribute coming along? I need a lot more gears. Yeah, gears are always... Uh, always tricky to get to.
I mean, I should be able to make a whole lot of robots still, though. I actually don't have enough robot limbs. Interesting. That is one of my new bottlenecks? I mean, I have one unemployed bot at the moment, though, so maybe it's not really much of a bottleneck. No, it's four limbs. Four limbs, one torso, one head. Best Buy will recycle computer parts? Wait, so how does that work? Did I give you money for it? Or you just get to dump it there? You get to dump it? Okay, so that's not quite as exciting. I thought you meant they were gonna, like, give you money for it. Wait, they charge you to dump, usually? What? What? 